Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with another awesome video. In today's video, we will be going over the review cursor in NVDA. But before we get into it, please be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Also note, the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. When using your keyboard to navigate the computer, you use what is called the system caret. This is a blinking cursor that allows you to navigate, highlight, and select text. You also use it where it is possible to insert and edit text. There are some instances, however, where either the system caret is not present or you want to review text without moving your editing position. NVDA allows you to read the content on the screen by line, word, or character by using what is called the review cursor. The review cursor allows you to read text without moving the focus of your system caret. When you move the review cursor, the system caret does not follow it. This allows you to review text without losing your editing position. On the other hand, by default, when you move the system caret, the review cursor moves with it. This can easily be toggled on and off if you wish. You can do this by going to the NVDA menu, Preferences, Settings, Review Cursor, and uncheck the checkbox that says Follow System Caret. Or you can use the keystroke NVDA plus 6. Caret moves review cursor off. Caret moves review cursor on. This is useful in situations where there is no system caret. For example, going through some long text in an installation dialog, like a privacy policy or terms of use. Or maybe when you are reviewing a Microsoft Word document but you don't want to move from where you are editing. Or when coding and you want to navigate the text in the terminal. To use the review cursor, you first need to turn your number lock off as a majority of the keystrokes related to it use the numpad. If your number lock is on, you will type numbers instead. All the keystrokes that use the number pad work on both laptop and desktop computers as long as you have a numpad. If you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, there are some alternate keystrokes for laptop layout that you can use. The following keystrokes are used to read text with the review cursor. Remember that the standard number pad on your computer's keyboard is different from the one on your phone or on your TV remote. While the ones on your phone and on your TV remote start from the top left and move to the bottom right, the one on the standard computer keyboard starts from the bottom left and moves to the top right. When going through the keystrokes, you will realize that the numbers in the top row of the numpad relate to reviewing text by line. The numbers in the middle row relate to reviewing text by word, and the numbers in the bottom row relate to reviewing text by character. In each row, the order from left to right key is previous, current, and next. For each action, I will mention the desktop layout keystroke first, then the laptop layout keystroke. Also, wherever I mention the NVDA key, I am referring to whatever you have your NVDA modifier key set as. For example, mine is set to insert. Here are the keystrokes. To move to and read the top line, shift plus numpad 7 or NVDA key plus control plus home. To move to and read the previous line, numpad 7 or NVIDIA key plus up arrow. To read the current line, numpad 8 or NVIDIA key plus shift plus full stop. To move to and read the next line, numpad 9 or NVIDIA key plus down arrow. To move to and read the bottom line, Shift plus numpad 9 or NVDA plus control plus end. To move to and read the previous word, numpad 4 or NVDA plus control plus left arrow. To read the current word, numpad 5 or NVDA key plus control plus full stop. To move to and read the next word, numpad 6 or NVDA plus control plus right arrow. To move to the start of the line, shift plus numpad 1 or NVIDIA key plus home. 
to move to and read the previous character, numpad 1 or NVIDIA key plus left arrow, to read the current character, numpad 2 or NVIDIA key plus full stop, to move to and read the next character, numpad 3 or NVIDIA key plus right arrow, to move to the end of the line, shift plus numpad 3 or NVIDIA key plus end, to move to the previous page. NVIDIA key plus page up or NVIDIA key plus shift plus page up to move to the next page. NVIDIA key plus page down or NVIDIA key plus shift plus page down to say or read all. The numpad plus or NVIDIA key plus shift plus A to report text formatting. NVIDIA key plus shift plus F for all layouts. Now for all the keystrokes above, pressing them once will just read the text as described regularly. Pressing them twice quickly will read the text by character. And pressing them thrice quickly will read the text phonetically. So let me now demonstrate the use of this review cursor. Let me find one of the transcripts for one of my HTML videos. HTML line part line 9 dot docs dash word document page 1 coding html with nvda dash part 9 left paren multimedia tags right paren all right so now i am currently on the first line of the document first i want to prove to you that when you move your review cursor the system carrot does not move with it so let me press my home key to put the system carrot at the first character of the document Cap C. Now, in order to use my review cursor, I would first ensure that my number lock is off. Number lock off. Now, I am using a laptop and my computer is in laptop layout. But as I said before, once you have a number pad, the numpad keystrokes will work for you as well. So, I'm currently using an external keyboard so I can use the number pad as well. So, let's use the keystroke that moves into the next line. And that was my numpad 9. So, let me press that. Blank. All right. Let's press it one more time. Heading level 1 introduction. Now what about the keystroke that brings me to the start of a line with the review cursor? That was my shift plus my numpad 1. So let's press that. Cap I. Now let's use the keystroke that moves the review cursor by character to the right. That was my numpad 3. So let's press that. N. All right. And if I should move it back over to the left with just pressing my numpad 1. Cap I. And if I press numpad 2 to read the current character. Cap I. Now remember the keystroke to read the current word was my numpad 5. So let's press that. Introduction. Awesome. Now the keystroke to read the next word would be numpad 6. So let's press that. Carriage return. All right. So that says carriage return because introduction was the only word in that line. If I should press it one more time. Hey. Awesome. Now the keystroke to read the previous word was my numpad 4. So let's press that. Heading level 1. Carriage return. Press it one more time. Introduction. There you go. It brings me right back to introduction. And of course, the numpad 8 would read the current line. Heading level 1 introduction. And the numpad 7 will read the previous line. Blank. Awesome. Now, I am in the blank line under the heading which is the first line of the document. Remember, my system caret was left up in front of the C in that heading. But now my review cursor is in the blank line under that. So now let's move my system caret with my right arrow to see where I am if I'm still up in that heading. Oh. There you go. So I'm still in the word coding. Coding. H with NVDA. So there you go. So you see how the review cursor works. Also, let me demonstrate to you what I meant by pressing it twice and thrice quickly. Now let's demonstrate it by using the numpad 5, which reads the current word. So let me press it once. NVDA. All right. Now let me press it twice quickly. Cap N. Cap V. Cap D. Cap A. No, let me press it thrice quickly. Cap November. Cap Victor. Cap Delta. 
Cap Alpha. Awesome. So that is exactly what I meant. Now, the last thing we're going to do before we come out of this video is by showing you some of the settings that you can change relating to the review cursor. So we're going to go into our NVDA menu. So your NVDA key plus your letter N. NVDA menu. Don't narrow to preferences and press enter. Preferences sub menu key. Settings. S. Press enter on settings. NVDA settings colon. General left paren. Normal configuration right paren. Dialog. Categories colon. List. General one of 16. Now you can either down arrow to review cursor or use quick single letter navigation, which would be my letter R. R. Review cursor seven of 16. Now let's tab through the settings that you can change. Review cursor property page. Follow system focus checkbox checked alt plus F. You can stop the review cursor from following the system focus. Next. Follow system carrot checkbox checked alt plus C. Next. Follow mouse cursor checkbox not checked alt plus M. So you can stop it from following the mouse cursor as well. Simple review mode checkbox checked alt plus S. OK button. And those are all the settings relating to the review cursor. And that is it guys for the review cursor. And I want to say shout out to my friend Mukesh from India who recommended this video. So for those of you who didn't know or you are a bit confused about the review cursor of NVDA, you should be good now. Hopefully I have described it good enough. Please remember that the transcript for this video where you can find all the keystrokes which I got directly from off the NVDA user manual can be found via the link in the description where you can go to my website and find the transcript. But that is it for this video guys. Thank you for staying till the end of the video and thank you for showing me the support. Please remember to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Remember that I love you, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.